Well, it's a pain that too many people feel. We're talking about back pain. 80% of us will experience some sort of back or neck pain. Many will need surgery to fix the problem. So joining me right now to talk more about this is uh, Dr. Stephen Paletti from Cooper, East Cooper Medical Center. And we were talking earlier, I wanted to know if, if back problems are more prevalent these days. Well, uh, Victoria, we have an aging population. People are more active now than they used to be later in life. So yes, we're seeing a lot more back pain than we did 20, 30 years ago. Uh, if you live long enough, you'll probably develop a back problem. Is there anything to do besides surgery? Is surgery always the, op the only option? Well, actually, surgery is the last option. You want to exhaust most every option before you have surgery. A lot of people think that that's what you would have first, but usually physical therapy, some sort of rest, some kind of medication. If your goal is to avoid surgery, you probably can achieve that goal. Over 90% of the people that we see at Southeastern Spine Institute don't end up having surgery. They get better with non-operative treatment. All right, let's say you have to get surgery. It's changed? Yes, uh, surgery is not your father's back surgery anymore. Back in the 80s, we used to do operations that involved long incisions, extensive blood loss, weeks in the hospital sometimes. Now, in some people, we can do surgery endoscopically, and we've seen that in other kinds of surgery, knee surgery, gallbladder surgery. Now we can do a back operation using a, a scope that's no bigger in diameter than this pen and attach it to a microscope or a camera and do the operation, and somebody can go home from the surgery center or the hospital in a number of hours instead of a number of weeks. So back surgery has changed.